Mia the Mini Digger is helping her big brother Danny dig holes on the building site today. You've been working very hard. I think it's time for a rest. Aren't you going for a break too, Mia? What's wrong? You look sad. Oh, I see. You want to dig a hole as big as Danny's. Don't be so glum, Mia. You're good at lots of other things. Um, Mia, I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're a little digger, and that's a very big hole. Danny's a bigger digger, so it's easier for him to dig big holes. A mini digger just can't dig a hole that deep, a hole that big. But Mia digs three days and nights until she disappears from sight. Her scoop gets caught upon some rubble. Uh-oh, I think that Mia's in trouble. There's no one around to hear her shout. Oh, how can we get Mia out? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! We're coming, Mia! Hold on tight, Mia! Garage roof open at speed! It's time to help a vehicle in need! Let's take a good look at you and see what's wrong. Hmm. It looks like your scoop's broken. And one of your tracks. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. They'll get you fixed in no time. Go, go mechanicals! You tried to copy Danny, but you came unstuck. And you ended up trapped in the muck. Your older brother's much, much bigger. Remember, you're a mini digger. We'll swap your scoop and fix your track. And soon you'll be on your way back. There you are, as good as new. Now, Danny has a job for you. Danny needs to dig a small hole in the floor of this new building. He may be really good at digging big holes, but he's too large to fit through the doors, and his scoop is far too big. I wonder who he could get to do the job. That's right, it's the perfect job for you, Mia. I told you that you were good at other things. Danny the digger's big and can dig big holes. Mia's small and it's the right size to dig smaller holes in hard to reach places. Good job, Mia. I knew you could do it. There's a perfect job for each of you here at the construction site. Rick the Road Roller is at the construction site today. He helps Danny the Digger and his other friends by making surfaces flat and safe to drive on. Without him, Vehicles would have a very bumpy ride. Rick can flatten soil, sand, concrete, tarmac, or even gravel. Ah, it looks like Celia's filling that deep hole with concrete. When concrete dries, it's rock hard and good to build on. Oh no, look out, Rick. Don't roll into that concrete. It's only just been poured, and it's far too deep. Uh-oh, too late. Oh dear, Rick is stuck, and Caroline the Crane's at another job, and she's not here to pull him out. This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, go, Helen! Hang in 
in there, Rick? Let's get you back to the garage and fix you up. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Did you enjoy your flight, Rick? Let's take a good look at you. Oh dear, you're well and truly stuck in that concrete. Don't worry, the mechanicals will get you out in no time. Go, go, mechanicals! It must have been an awful shock. To get stuck in concrete, that hardens like rock. Please don't worry, without a doubt, the mechanicals jackhammers will break you out. There, as good as new. Let's go outside and test your roller to make sure everything's in full working order. Careful mechanicals, stand well back. We don't want you getting squashed. OK, Rick, squash those shapes. The first shape to squash is over here. A big round ball we call a sphere. Rick rolls it flat and then we find a circle has been left behind. A big, tall, pointy pyramid. The second shape that Rick has hid. Rick rolls it flat and now we found a triangle left on the ground. This one has six faces all the same. A cube is its name. Rick rolls it flat and now down there we have a perfect flattened square. The final one to be destroyed, a shoebox shape. It's a cuboid. Rick pushes down. The shape is mangled. And now we have a flat rectangle. Very impressive, Rick. Looks like you're back to your old self again. You'd better get back to the construction site. Danny the digger will be worried about you. I'm glad we get Rick out of that concrete and back to normal. He'll have to watch where he's going in future so that he doesn't get into any more trouble. Are you ready to join me and the mechanicals for Gecko's Garage ABC? Let's get started. That is for Amber the ambulance. She'll help if you fall down. Ba is for Bobby the Brilliant Bus. He'll drive everyone into town. Ka is for our cool car wash to make our vehicles shiny. Da is for Danny the Digger. He digs holes, huge or tiny. E is for everyone's engines that keep their wheels turning. F is for Fiona the fire truck who sprays things when they're burning. G is for our garage where this video starts and ends. Also, G is for me. That's Gecko. Always here to help my friends. H is for noisy honking horns to let you know we're here. I is for icy roads and parts that Trevor the tractor helps to clear. J is for our hydraulic jack, lifting vehicles off the ground. K is for all our vehicles' keys that sometimes can't be found. L is for Larry the lorry, lugging parcels from place to place. Ma is for Max the monster truck, who likes to jump and race. And also for Millie the motorbike, who really enjoys the chase. Na is for new number plates, so that we know who's who. O is the garage oil can, keeps them running good as new. 
Papa is for a nice new coat of paint when scratches are a pain. Q is for queuing at the car wash to clean that mud off again. R is for Rebecca the recycling truck collecting old things to make into new. S is for Sophie the sports car sometimes pink, sometimes yellow or blue. T is for Tony the taxi he really knows his way around and Trevor the tractor works down at the farm digging and seeding the ground. R is for under this mystery sheet. What have those mechanicals found? Yes, V is for Vicky, the van, who you might meet next time around. W is for wheels that we change when the old ones wear through. X is for x-ray machine that we use to get a clear internal view. Y is for yard, used to test all our vehicles to see if we fix them up right. And Z is for zoom, when they're back to full speed. One of my oldest friends is visiting us today. Oscar the bus works with his friend Bobby, carrying passengers around town. Here they come. Wow, Bobby's fast. Oh dear, it looks as if Oscar's having trouble keeping up with Bobby. Oscar is slow. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Oscar hasn't arrived yet, so let's take a look at Bobby first. Bobby is big and shiny and new. He can carry lots of passengers and they stay warm and dry inside. There's certainly nothing wrong with you Bobby. Off you go and pick up your passengers. We'll stay here and wait for Oscar. Hello Oscar, you made it at last. Let's take a good look at you. Bobby was big and shiny and new. But Oscar is small and rusty and old. His top deck has no roof so his passengers get cold and wet in the winter. I know you feel tired and sad Oscar, but I don't think you're ready to retire yet. Perhaps you just need a new job. Why not let Bobby take all the passengers to work and school? And you could become a summer tour bus, showing visitors all the sights and sounds of the town. Let's get the mechanicals to fix you up, give you a fresh coat of paint and get you ready for your new job. Go, go mechanicals! I know you're feeling old and tired, but there's no need to fuss. Visitors to an old, old town would love an old, old bus. You won't need Bobby's sat-nav to find your way around. You've lived right here for 80 years. You know every sight and sound. There'll be time to enjoy the sights because you're slow and steady. And what a view from your top deck. Cameras at the ready. And when each summer's over and the tourists go away, spend the winter at Gecko's Garage. What a cosy place to stay. There we go Oscar, the mechanicals have fixed you up a treat. You look very smart and I think you're ready to start your new job. And you have your first customers already, the mechanicals. They deserve a fun trip around the town after all their hard work. I hope Oscar and the Mechanicals enjoy their tour of the town. 
Being a tour bus sounds like a lot of fun, and Oscar is perfect for the job. Danny the Digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night, and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky? Mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten! Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest. But she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the fabulous forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is little too. But his talent never ends. Tiny Sid the skid loader loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle four won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number five, even if he's covered in gloop. That's right, it's Danny the Digger with his brand new extra scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck, always tips stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things always has a smashing time. It's Ryan, the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is... Uh-oh! Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. 
George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. Fantastic. Everyone looks shiny and clean. Now you're all washed and clean, you can get a good night's sleep. Welcome to the stadium, where Max the Monster Truck is attempting a new world record for monster truck jumping. Max is going to attempt to jump over 10 vehicles and all his friends have come along to help out. Make the first jump Max as fast as you like, jumping over Millie the motorbike. One. He's so good at jumping, this truck will go far. High over Millie and Sophie Sports Car. Two. Things are getting tense. There's no time to relax. He jumped Millie and Sophie and Tony the taxi. Yes, Max. Three. Max is jumping so well that he's in with a chance. Over Millie, Soph, Tony and Amber Ambulance. Four. Max is so brave, his stunts are very clever. But can he jump over our new tractor, Trevor? Uh-oh. Max has jumped five vehicles, but I think he's damaged something. We'd better check Max over before he carries on. Go, go, mechanicals. We'll check your suspension out and fix that nasty scratch. There, all ready to carry on. I can't bear to look. The gap's getting bigger. Can he clear all these vehicles? Plus, Danny the digger? Six. You can do it, Max. I'm wishing you good luck. Let's watch you jump, Rebecca, the recycling truck. Seven. That's surely too many. Max is going to get stuck. Can he really leap Fiona, the red fire truck? Eight. He'll manage this ninth jump with no kind of fuss. Watch as he leaps over Bobby the bus. Nine. He can't jump them all. Surely not. I'm so sorry. Not a motorbike, two cars, all those trucks and a lorry. He's backing right up. Revs his engine. And then... Look at him go! He's jumped over all ten! Well done, Max. You did it! I wasn't so sure you could do it, but you jumped over ten vehicles and set a new record. I'm glad your friends were here to help you too. And thanks to you for helping to cheer Max on here comes Sophie, the sports car. She looks grumpy. I wonder what's wrong. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya, Sophie. Wow, those are some nasty scratches in your paintwork. Would you like a respray? I'll get my mechanicals on it right away. Go, go, mechanicals! Let's choose some paint to cover that scratch. I'm sure we'll find something to match. Unless you'd like to try something new, we could find another colour for you. How about yellow? What about red? The blue looks amazing. 
green really suits you. Purple looks nice. Stripey? I'm not sure about that. You don't like any of the new colours, Sophie? In that case, I've got one more idea. How about this? Back to your old colour. Pink! There, all done. That nasty scratch is gone, and you look good as new. Bye bye, Sophie. Try not to get that paintwork scratched again, but if you do, we'll be here to help put it right. Wow, just look at her go. Sophie can really zoom now. Don't drive too fast, Sophie, or you might get stopped by the police. Uh-oh, Sophie, now you've done it. Millie the motorbike is here to tell you to slow down. Find out what happens to Sophie and Millie in the next episode. Millie the police motorbike has had to stop Larry the lorry. He delivers parcels and packages all over the country. He looks so full, his sides might burst. Millie needs to escort Larry to Gecko's garage so that we can help him. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Hiya, Larry. It looks like you're carrying too many packages and they haven't been loaded very well. Shall we take a look? Go, go, mechanicals! What a mess. I'm really sorry. But that's no way to pack a lorry. Let's take some time and care with it. I'm sure we'll make these boxes fit. The biggest parcel should go in first. With the smallest one on top. That blue parcel on the left and the red one on the right. Let's put this parcel in the gap up at the top and put the last parcel in that gap down at the bottom. There, all sorted. Now that everything is packed away neatly, it all fits in properly. See you again soon, Larry. Good luck with all your deliveries. Thanks for helping me out today at Gecko's Garage. Join me next time when we help another vehicle in need. Trevor the tractor's going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh, Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go, mechanicals. You really work hard on the farm, don't you, Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, Trevor spreads fertiliser on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. 
I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There. Your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no! This tree has fallen over in an autumn storm! Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch! Oh no! It's scratched his lovely red paintwork! A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new! Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snowplow. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer, and pulled your plow back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new and ready for spring, summer, autumn, and winter on the farm all over again. See you again soon, Trevor. I'm glad we could help Trevor with all his problems. He should come and see us more often. Thanks for visiting us today. Bye! If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!